Okay. Yeah. His question, why? Have you got a crappie? Well, certainly, that's all I'm fishing for. Man! Boy, that's another good deal. Nice one. This could do it right here. Boy, he socked that. Look at that wild thing. Take off. Come out of me. Man, that's a good one, Bill. <laughs> it's a good crappie right there. That's right. a good postseason crappie right there. Yes, yeah, Scott. Let me, let me open the lid. Would you mind if you open the lid? Put up here close to me. Get him. Get another. That's a heck of a crappie right there. Now get out of her way. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. You know, it's it's real easy during the spawn, you know, we just go up in the shallow water or the sure. grass or whatever, but you know, most people really just have, I think, more trouble with post-spawn crappie than they do anything else. So yeah. what are you looking for out here? We're a good ways off from the bank. We are, but what we got here, Scott, is a, a major creek right there. It goes up in, goes both ways, that's major spawning ground. Around that point there, there's a ditch that comes out and it comes to right yonder. And then it's a long point that comes out into deep water. This, I say deep water, this is 19 foot of water. Um, post spawn crop, you don't want to get out in 25, 30 foot. They're not going that far. They're, what they're looking for is a place to rest and feed up. We're just going to be using some little Berkeley power baits and uh, we've got some minnows there in our longer life bucket. And we're going to find whatever they're looking for and we're going to try to catch us a few crappy today. I'd say jump on that front end now. Let's get to fishing. Fish. Oh, a little bass. Well, you said, Bill, that the little, that the bass do the same oh, yeah. thing. Fine. They're staging, so that little bass right here was right there. So we know there's there's fish working this little drop off. Yeah. They come the same way. They. We're just using, or I am right now. I'm just I'm just going with a with a little sixteenth ounce. And, and don't go with anything as far as color. This is just a, just a color that we're going with here. There's a little pink jig head, and I think that's just the jig head I grabbed. But uh, it's a little overcast this morning, so I was gonna go with a little darker, darker color right here to start out with. And uh, just a little power bait and uh, see what's happening. Now, you would rather throw up towards the shallow bill and bring yeah, it bring back it just a little bit? Okay. We'll catch some old big bass, probably. We get to, it's not unusual because they're following them, them small crappie out of that, that shallow water. You know, you come to an area like this, you know, what you've got to do is, is you've got to just experiment with your depth. You know, we it, it's kind of overcast right now, so those crappie may be, may be suspended up a little bit a little bit shallow. You know, as that sun comes out, then they're liable to drop on oh, down right closer to the bottom. Feet. We're sitting here in about, out here in about 26 foot of water. What is it up there, Bill, about 20? 20, 23, 24 up okay. here, but it, right there, well, that's that right. 18. 
What have I got here? What is that's it? another bass. It ain't. It's a. It's a one of them. Well, that's a good start, Look Bill. Look there. Look that's a here. good start. He'll back you now. There ain't no doubt. Old Eric has to chase Bill around. <laughs> But <laughs> every time he catches a crappie, he turns his back on it. I don't want you to see it. It's a secret. Oh, boy. That's pretty, in it? That's a good one, too. That's a, that's a good size crappie. What the? I have a question. I ain't getting down there. Well, I, I just want to know what you're doing way back there. Uh, you're supposed hey, to be up here. That's why we put, that's a special, that's why they made those front live wells on these G3s. So it's for you. Well, you call them, tell them I appreciate it. Here. You know what? What you got? Ah! Blind hog fine acre and back down the back of the boat. Well, you move, you move the boat and I could actually fish. Well, now I've got a real problem. Well, it ain't as big as Bill's, but it'll keep. You didn't expect it to be big in mind, did you? Yeah, that's why they put these live wells up front. For me? Yep. They made them just for you. I you. So I don't have to stand here all day. <laughs> I want you to tell them how appreciative I am. Yeah, that, well, I think we just did. Look at this. Uh -huh. You bass fishing? Yeah, I'm bass fishing, oh. and I'm using crappie as bait. Were you in my? Uh, yes, I was. In my area. I'm in there? your area over there off that ledge. If I can ever, if I can ever get over there where I can throw <laughs> on that ledge and break it down, I can catch a crappie. Well, it's just you I'm keep not. me about ten feet too short. <laughs> I need to bring you another one, a longer one of them Berkeley rods down Yeah, here. that's exactly what I'm going to do. Post, fishing post pond crappie doesn't really have to be hard, uh, as long as you know what you're looking for. What you're looking for is the same thing that you were looking for when the crappie were spawning, only you're looking for their escape route. They came in a way, they're going out that same way. You get on their escape route, in a creek bed, uh, a ditch, or what have you, adjacent to deep water, and fish along the edges. Watch your electronics. Once you locate the fish, you may have changed color four or five times, get your depth just right, and uh, it'll be on. You'll catch a lot of fish. That may get me down on my knees. Have I got you? Yeah, you got me off up in there. Look at there now, boys. Now that's that's real crappie there. <laughs> we just about got run over right there. Old boy in a bass boat while I was catching that fish. No etiquette whatsoever. Now I want to tell you, he won't look at me. He thought I was pretty. He don't want to get real close. That's a good crappie right there. Nice. Good postseason crappie right there. Yes, Scott. Let me, let me, let me open the lid. Would please. you mind if you open the lid? Put it right there. I'd be close to me. My friend Roger fixed that. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Bill. Thank Roger. Now, we've got the clouds are leaving here and the sun is starting to come out. And so what we're switching to now, now that it's brighter out, is a brighter colored little jig now, a little brighter colored power bait. I still got the little pink head now, and that's the only reason that pink head, like I said, is that's just what I grab. But really, we dip these tails right here in that chartreuse dye and gives a little more color. And if y'all know anything about the show and watching me or Bill catching crappie, we're going to have chartreuse on something. I guarantee you. Ain't we, Bill? Oh, yeah. There's going to be I, some chartreuse somewhere. I may have it on my shirt, but it's going to yeah. be in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> may have it on your shirt. Yeah. But yeah, as this sun's coming up and it's getting a little brighter, we want to change these crappie jigs into a little brighter color too. When it was darker and we was using those darker colors, you know, that was better for a shadow. But uh, now you need a little, a little brighter color. And now these crappie are liable Ooh. to get a little deeper, Ooh. aren't Excuse they, Bill? Me. 
Excuse, I can't talk to you right now. I'm a little bit busy. Have you got a crappie? Well, certainly, that's all I'm fishing for here. Man, boy, that's another good one, Bill. That's a nice one. I mean, that's a good. That's a. That's a what we call them? That's one of them big hand. And big old good ones. Big old good ones. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> It's getting my time of the year, buddy. You know, when you're looking for these post pond crappie, they're gonna be in, in different depths of water. If, if uh, like on, on my lake here at Sam Rayburn, these crappie will spawn in three to five foot of water. And when they move out, they're not going straight to their deep water summer habitat to start with. They're gonna mingle in between to, to feed up. So what you gotta do is you gotta find a, a comfort zone for them. They'll be in either uh, if they spawn in three to five foot of water, they're gonna be in, in eight to 10 foot of water. Like today, we were catching them in 13, 14 foot of water, adjacent to 28 to 30 foot of water over here versus three to five foot of water back here. I'm afraid they're gonna break the tip off. Well, if they do, oh, I got them right there. Look at you. Another good crop. Look at you. You know, isn't that something, Bill, when you get like a, a, a depth when you finally get zeroed in on the on the depth. It sure makes it fun well, then. Sure, that's, that's all it, that's what it's all about. You gotta figure out where they're at. I mean they, and and I promise you that's you come back here tomorrow they're not they're gonna be right there. Look here. One. There's a good one. Feel like it. No, nope, that's a little one. But what we've done as the morning has progressed As the morning has progressed, we finally couldn't get my finger off underneath that thing. As the morning's progressed, we've we first started catching those crappie up in the shallower part of this uh, flat. As the sun has come up, the crappie have went a little deeper, so now. They're more in this deeper water right here, which is, what is it, Bill? 20, 22 23, here. 24 foot mm -hmm. deep. Now they're not sitting right on the bottom, but they're fluctuating between about 15 and 18 feet right now. Where earlier, they, we were catching them in six to eight. Right. So if the crappie slow down, when you're in an area like this in a post spawn fishing pattern like we're doing, don't give up on them if they stop. Change your depths, change your colors, right, Bill? Change your color, yeah. That's my deal. You change color five, six times a day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When the sun go, gets bright, get bright. When the sun gets dim, get dark. That, that bit like a crappie there. He bit like a crappie because like it a is crappie a crappie. There. That is a crappie. Come here, baby. Boy, I mean, that's a good. <laughs> that is a nice one. That little. That little old Berkeley power bait is just working up storm, huh? That's a good fish there, Bill. That is a nice fish. That's a real good fish. Him, didn't you? I did. It's just I'll tell you what, man, that it's a real Ooh, good look yonder. <laughs> it's a real good feeling when you can get it figured out, you know? Oh yeah. When you can get it figured out and when you when you bring it through there and you know that you've got a really good chance of that crappie. Of course I ain't never gonna get him of that crappie hitting it. I'm gonna buy me a dip net. Well, Dad Gummit, I'll tell you, he keeps, I've got him hooked in the corner. That's a good crappie right there. Any way you slice it. That's a doggone good one right there. A post-spawn crappie are hungry. They, they've, been, they've been stressed, they've been spawning, they, uh, they've been doing their work. 
Uh, they're gonna come back out to a, a, a drop off, a sudden drop off, a hump. Wherever the shad and the minnows are hanging out, that's where they're gonna be. Uh, all you gotta do is find that little spot. And it's not that difficult to find. Just cruise around until you find a, a, a ditch or, or a drain coming from, from a, the spawning bed. And, uh, and just watch your depth and you'll, you'll locate your crappie. They're, they'll be right there wherever there's something to eat. Look at you. I hope that's a crappie. That is a crappie. I believe it is. It got through those bass. It ain't bass. very big, but it's a good one. It got through those bass. It beat them bass to your pimenter, didn't it? And I got a crappie, but he was all, he's awful little. He's awful little, but he is a crappie on my little minna. My little minna is in bad shape. So, you wanted him? Here. Look at him. Look at him. Gonna eat him. Look at here. Look at here. You got Look one? Here. Yeah. I'm fishing. What you got? I don't know. You know what I got. <laughs> A big crappy. A big old crappy. Big old crappy. I gotta get me some new line. I know that. I, that's twice, three times I broke this. Oh, you making me chase your crappy around. Oh, well give my jig back. Hey, hey give my jig back. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I hurt you. Nice crappie. That is pretty. Yeah, I mean, you know, every bit of 11, 11 and a half inches, oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah, he is. Well, sometimes you gotta change your presentation. Sure. You, you know, did. that's something else that you gotta. You know, earlier, <clears throat> when, the, when the crappie were shallower, we were throwing out, letting it sink with maybe a, a five to six count, just kind of a steady retrieve coming in, just a slow, steady retrieve. Well, now, the crappie have gotten just a tad bit more lethargic and they're down deeper, so now we're letting it fall, give it a few reels. And set the hook. And then pick them up just like that. And that's what we're having to do, so we've just been changing it some. So don't give up on the crappie if they're not biting exactly like they were earlier. Just change your, change your pattern a little bit, go a little bit deeper. Change your color. Change your colors. Put you some chartreuse on it. And you got to have some chartreuse, as have Bill Fonder said. On it. But that makes for a successful day right there, crappie fish. Make a pretty day. How about that? Let me open my lid for I you. I wish you'd, you'd open that lid for me, sir. Thank you. Uh, today it took us a, a bit to find the magic depth, but we were we were changing our retrieve up one one or the other. Uh, Scott was had a slow retrieve. I was fishing more of a vertical up and down. And, and that way you can change and find out exactly what your crappie want. And then everybody can get on the same page. If we can look back here, we started back here earlier. And we've just kind of worked our way this way. And every time we move up a little bit, Bill throw out another buoy, that gives us a, uh, where, the, where the actual drop off is. And we've worked our way down a little bit. We're almost now to this point. So we've kind of went from point to point, which is, I don't know, 500, 600 yards or whatever. Ooh, Another yeah. good crop. Boy, that's a good that's a build. Good that is Ooh, a good. Come on, too. Everything. You know, how many times is this gonna happen? I do it on purpose. That's a really, really good that's crop. A nice right there. That's a That's a good one right there. <laughs> Put him in there, buddy. What? Thank you. I'm busy. I'd get down and do it. But look at him. Y'all heard back now. They're going <laughs> after what we've been catching. Those of you that have seen us here on the show and, and uh, call, and we appreciate that. Um, so Scott and I cut up and catch these fish and have a big time. Uh, I'd like to take a minute to invite all of you to to our new lodge here on Sam Raven Lake, uh, Tiger Creek Lodge. It's, it's a year old now. And we're real proud of it. We've got uh, we've got uh, room for 26. We sleep 26. We have good home cooking and the best crappie fishing in the country. Um, you can catch us, uh, check us out on our website at 3 texasoutdoorscom and call and come see us. We'd appreciate it. 
This can do it right here. Boy, he's soft, Dad. Look at that wild thing. Take off. Come out of me. Man, that's a good sale. <laughs> Scott, you can't beat both bond and crappie fishing. I'm gonna tell you what. There's a lot of people out there give up on crappie fishing after the spawn. But post spawn can be some of the best fun there is. Oh yeah, they're hungry. They're hungry, ain't they? They're hungry. And you catch big crappie like that in the post spawn, son, ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? No, We've had a good day, haven't we, Bill? We have. Crappie. We caught a box full of fish. We've had a big time. You've, you've helped uh, show everybody how we can catch fish after the spawn. And, uh, they dandy too. I tell you what, it's always a pleasure coming down here to fish. You bet. I, you boys know you're welcome anytime you want to come down here. We'll we'll treat you so many ways you're gonna like one of them. Well, I'll tell you what, for me and Uncle Bill, thanks for watching today's show. And just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Let me get the lid for you. Please do, would you?